Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Nicola Cairncross here. Today, I'm going to talk about the five best methods of making money online. And I hope that will help you over the weekend. And if you see me disappear suddenly downwards, and that's because my chair's given up the ghost and the hydraulics are playing up. So uh, I might edit it out. I might not. If it happens, it might be quite funny. Anyway, don't die of shock. I do have other clothes. They're not all black, but they do have to go with black. That's the thing. Enough of this nonsense. I was just mooching about looking for a subject for this video and I was going through some old keyword research that I've done. Um, there's a great tool by uh, Doug Cunnington and he's also, he's got a website and a course called Niche Websites, which I highly recommend. And he's got a lovely tool called the Golden Keyword Ratio. And when I was looking through that, some of the early research I did with that, I found that um, because I've been online so long, I sometimes tend to neglect the obvious and I tend to forget the obvious. And I tend to forget that not everybody who comes to my channel has read my books, has been on my courses, has been to the workshops. So basically, I was looking through for a topic that I could talk about quickly that might help you over the weekend, because um, the news is all full of the news that Germany has gone into a full blown recession and that the UK isn't far behind. I think anyone who follows macroeconomics knows that actually we're all in a recession, even though they're just calling it a, a downturn still from the from the lockdown days. So basically, I wanted to come out with something this weekend that if you're feeling a bit worried about money, that you could help yourself with and how you could make money online. That used to be a dirty word, by the way. That was one of the reasons that my book, The Money Gym, was censored for a long time, because uh, they thought it was all about how to make money online or how to get rich quick. Well, let me assure you, it was not. It was a life changing book for many people, but it certainly didn't make me rich quick. But the one thing it did do was it get, got me started on my journey. And I'm going to talk about where that came in in a minute. Because I want to talk about the five best methods for you of making money online. Let's just start with the premise of why you might want to make some extra money. I think a lot of people are struggling with the bills. My own electricity bill went from £60 to £347 within the space of two months. And it's only just getting down to around the £100 mark. So I don't think it's ever going to go as low as £60 a month. So bills are an issue for many people. I know that. Apparently, we've got massively high use of food banks and lots of people are struggling with the whole 15 minute city thing because they're having to pay extra to get to and work to and from work to drive through certain areas. We won't get too much into that topic, will we? A lot of other people are managing to make ends meet, but they're struggling for treats. And if you've got a kid's then you know how difficult that is because um, you really want to make them have as nice a life as possible. And that involves treats. And even things as simple as going to the cinema or going out to the park and having an ice cream can be out of the financial reach of some people. And believe me again, I remember what it was like because we, when my two children were, were very young, we were quite poor due to a series of redundancies um, and the fact that I hadn't got any of my online businesses going yet. It, I remember how tough it was. I remember, you know, Irving would say, it's Saturday, let's take the kids out. And I'd think, oh, my God, that's 50 quid down. How do, how do people do it? I mean, it wasn't even that expensive in those days. So how do people do it nowadays? I don't know. But the main reason you really want to make money online, apart from to pay the bills and give the kids a treat or even yourself occasionally, is to be able to invest in income producing activities or assets because you're never going to break out the spiral of, of poverty um, and financial difficulty unless you find a way to make a difference between what you spend. I told you. Point myself up a bit again. When you're really tight on the breadline, it's really, really hard to make that difference. But even if you can make a 50p difference every week between what you spend and what you earn, then it will start to add up and make a difference one day. But it'd be even nicer if you could make a bigger difference by bringing in some extra cash. And then the idea is then to invest in income producing assets, but I'll come back to those in a moment. So what are the five quickest, easiest, simplest ways to make extra money, especially online? The first thing to remember is there is only two ways to make money. That's to sell products, create products and sell them, um, whether those are digital products online or real physical products in the real world, or services, to offer services. Now, often that is um, the fastest way to do it, because if you can offer a service to someone, then um, you've got the knowledge or the skills or the equipment or tools, presumably, to go and do it straight away. Think gardening, think babysitting, think house sitting, think pet sitting, think cooking, 
think um, making clothes for people, think knitting, anything like that. But then you do have the bit that I usually specialize in talking about in these videos, which is then how to market that product or service online. You can do it offline as well, but online is quicker. Um, and then how you can actually make money from it as quickly as possible. But let's talk about the other way, apart from products or services, is to look around you and look at your assets. Now, your assets can be something as obvious as a spare room, which you could turn into an Airbnb. And if you've got an ensuite bathroom, all the better, because that's one of the things I always look for in Airbnbs is a private bathroom. So if you've got a two bed, two bath flat, then you're, you're in straight away. You can get it onto Airbnb and make money from your physical asset. By putting it online. Mm -hmm. I was talking to a client the other day and they were talking to me about their house they were doing up and how they were going to have people to stay in that as a bed and breakfast. But they were also talking about the cottage they'd just finished and how that was ready to rent out and they had their first bookings from that. And I said, anything else? Have you got any other physical assets there? And it turns out they had a big flat field with a beautiful lawn on it, which could easily be rented out for events and so I said to him you've got to make take pictures he said I've got pictures so you've got to make a website so I can do that this weekend and you've got to start reaching out to events companies and um, wedding planners and wedding photographers and events planners and party organizers and people like that because you know with literally within a day or two of making of realizing he had the asset then making the website then re reaching out and emailing all these people and then perhaps following up with a phone call, but making sure he includes a link to his website. They're going to be absolutely desperate for last minute event spaces at this time of year. So he could literally make a thousand pounds a day from his field, which is just an amazing thing, isn't it? And it was an asset that he hadn't even considered. And he'd been concentrating on the things that were going to take the longest to, to create, you know, like the, the how, doing up the house and doing up the cottage. And he'd had that field sitting there empty all the time. So anyway... Now, the main thing is he's realized it's there now and he can start making money from it. The other assets you've got are your skills. So that comes back to what can you do? What can you help people with? What are you good at that you could offer as a service? Remember, it's only other products or services. Mm -hmm. So skills is the sort of all encompassing word for the things that you can do that other people maybe can't or the things that you can do better than other people. The other method that you could make money online quickly is by brokering two different kinds of people. So, for example, I had one of my first websites ever was a website that matched up um, aspiring artists in the music industry uh, with uh, aspiring managers who were looking for artists to manage. Because I used to be in the music industry and I used to be a manager of a couple of DJs and a producer and then some other guys called 95 North who came over from, it, from America on a regular basis. And I just used to sort them out. I used to try and get them gigs. I used to try and get them. I used to sort out their accommodation, used to make drive them around London, which was quite funny because I was nine and a half months pregnant when I was the last time they were here. And uh, they were playing at the Ministry of Sound. So that was quite amusing getting through there in uh, with a big bump. There, I was trying to broker a DJ with a venue, or I was trying to broker a music producer with an artist who was looking for a remix. So think about, are there two kinds of people in the world that you know about that might benefit from being put together? There's a fabulous book called 33 Websites You've Probably Never Heard Of That Are Making Money Online. And I can't quite remember the name of the um, writer of that. And I read it in 1998, 1999, and it absolutely lit a fire under me. And that's why um, that's when I got my website, artistmanager.com, going to match up the artists with the managers, because it was all about, you know, the, the most successful sites being community sites. And this was long before WordPress had even been invented, let alone membership sites. It was all done with hard coding in those days. But it was all about matching up one group of people with another group of people or bringing communities of people together. So is there any kind of communities that you can think of that you could bring together and act as a broker by putting them together? The other way you can do that is by reading a book by now. Again, the author escapes me and it's called something along the lines of um, how to get everything you've got out of everything you've already got. No, how to get everything you want out of 
everything that you've already got or something similar to that, because that's more of a business to business book. And it talks about how to match up different kinds of people or how to make bartering arrangements or how to make three way bartering arrangements work. And that's a really useful book for getting your head around how to match up different kinds of people. Stop playing with here and I'd like to quickly interrupt this video which you may or may not know I have a business called Clicks and Leads Academy which is not just about marketing your business better online although we do cover that it's also about becoming a better entrepreneur so if you like the sound of that you can come over to clicksandleads.academy see you on the other side so we've covered skills, that's method number one. We've covered brokering, that's method number two. We've covered spaces. Have you got any indoor spaces you could rent out? Have you got any outdoor spaces you can rent out? It doesn't even have to be an overnight stay. There are lots of places around here in Shoreham that rent themselves out for movies, for example. So there's a few really cool modern houses who um, rent themselves out for movies. And there's one beautiful old Art Deco house on the beach that rents itself out as a, as a period uh, resident. Lots of drama companies, lots of production companies are looking for places. And they're often just looking for places to put in quite ordinary everyday dramas. So if your house has got even a hint of originality or if it's nicely decorated or, you know, whatever, then do get in touch with production companies. And there might even be specialist location um, people who are looking for houses just like yours to to put a drama production company in for a day, three days, five days, or even two weeks. You know, they'll probably pay for you to go off and stay in a hotel and give you a thousand pounds a day for the for the use of your property. Right, the next method of making money online, because we are trying to focus on making it online here rather than uh, in the real world, although I do keep slipping into that, is your knowledge. What do you know about? What have you learned about? What can you do that other people can't do? Uh, for example, there was um, an example recently where I was talking about how to make your YouTube shorts uh, may act as trailers for your main videos. And I run through it really, really quickly. And one of my regular viewers, Caitlin, didn't quite pick it up. And she had a go, bless her, but she didn't quite pick up all the steps. And I know that there was one, there must have been something I left out of my description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a longer video for her and I'm going to put it online here, which will just be about how to make a short in the way that I make shorts so that the um, thumbnail of the short appears on the short before it starts playing. And I'm, I, you know, I know that's something I know how to do because I do it every single time I make a video. But Caitlin doesn't know how to do it. So it'll be I know that there's going to be if Caitlin doesn't know how to do it and wants to, there's going to be other people out there in YouTube land who want to do it but don't know how to, so who would benefit from that video, highly specialised though it is. So what do you know? My my sister's a good example. She's a, an opera singer, a jazz singer, and she travels a lot with work. And she's figured out how to print off her EasyJet tickets without using up all the ink in her printer. You know when they get you to print them out online and they've got ads and all sorts of different things like that well she's figured out how to print them off without all the adverts and without all the you know all the things that you don't need all the extra instructions and things that you don't need so uh yeah so she's she's gets lots of traffic to her website for that and a lot of those people are fellow singers and fellow musicians and my sister makes websites for singers and musicians on the side so she's bringing a lot of traffic to her website by sharing a bit of skill and a bit of knowledge she's picked up herself um, that other people might want to know. So what do you know about? What have you learned about that other people? A good, another good example of this was um, Pat Flynn when he first started online. Just Google Pat Flynn. He was studying for a, a specific kind of architect's exam. I think it was called the green something, the green exam or the green I can't remember exactly what it was called, but the point is that he was studying for this particular kind of environmentally friendly architect's design exam. And he put all his learning notes and the resources he came across onto a website, mainly for his own benefit, so that he would not he would be able to find them easily again. Um, and again, that's something he knew about. It was a very specific kind of bit of knowledge. And he put it onto a blog and he covered it all. And it, it the search engines absolutely loved it. And he, ev he eventually put all the knowledge together into a book and sold it from his website as a book. So what do you know about? What have you learned about over your life? What special knowledge do you have? What 
have you learned how to do that other people might know might need to know how to do uh, for example if you've got a specific medical condition for example you could be gathering all the research you've done and all the notes you've got and all the resources you've got and putting them onto a wordpress website which would cost you practically nothing and the search engines would crawl all over it and start showing your website to the people who are looking for those resources and you don't even have to sell them anything because you know i'm sure i've gone through all my, many of my other videos there are all the different ways to make money from a website and one of those ways is to put Google advertising on it. So you don't even have to sell a product or service of your own. You can actually just create a knowledge based website and then put Google advertisements in strategic places on the website and earn money from every time someone clicks, which is pretty cool, isn't it? And that leads me into the fifth method of making money online, which is to to help others benefit from any experience you've had. Now, that can be anything from. Um, organizing a lifetime a trip in a lifetime wedding. It could be um, getting through an experience that really you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. It could be how you coped with grief. It could be how you ended up being a 50-something person who lost someone then went over to live in Greece for a few years. It could be anything that you've experienced. And people want to know the emotional side of it as well, not just the practical side. That's the one thing I find that a lot of experience based websites leave out, which is how the person felt at the time. We all want to be reassured that we're not alone, that we are not weird. We're not unusual. And to read about other people's emotions while they're going through the same experience that we are is a very comforting thing indeed. I know when I lost Steve, I spent quite a bit of time booing my eyes out on grief orientated websites because I wanted to know how other people felt. Was it the same as how I was feeling and how did they cope? And it really does help and reassure you when you find someone who felt just like you did in lots of different circumstances. When you're coming back to this, coming back to the skills thing just for a second, um, a lot of people are very quickly learning how AI works. I was watching a fantastic new podcast um, the other day with Dan Norris, who was the guy who wrote The Seven Day Startup, he's just started a new podcast with two co-founders, and they're talking all about lots of exciting things like being a startup founder, um, what they're using AI for. I mean, I watched one today where one of the guys demonstrated how to get AI to write you a plugin for your website just by <laughs> just by telling it what you wanted it to do. It was just unreal what this guy got got this chat gpt to do he, he i mean i've had plugins made for my websites before but i've always used a developer but it turns out that now you can go to um chat gpt you can tell it what you want the app to do and it will it will write the code it will create the app it will host the app it will give you um, the code for a plugin and then you just take the plugin and plug it in on your website and it'll work it's absolutely unreal my my plugin was uh, the profit calculator where you put in your business idea and you put in how much it's going to cost you to get the clicks from Google, and what you're going to sell your product for. And it tells you which platforms you're going to you're going to buy traffic from. And it tells you what kind of profit you could make and what kind of resale value your business would be worth. Now, I can't use that at the moment because I haven't got a WordPress website that I can plug it into, but it's still there. But the point is that I wouldn't have had to pay a developer, although I didn't begrudge it because it really didn't cost very much. But now you can actually get chat GPT and AI like that to make your plugins for you. So if you've got an idea for a plugin that would plug into a WordPress website and enhance the functionality, then you better learn how to go and watch this, um, this new Dan Norris podcast you might get some ideas about how to start creating apps for people by using chat GPT. And that would be exciting, wouldn't it? So coming back to the whole point of all this, it is to earn more money, It to earn more money so that you can pay the bills, to earn more money so that you can have some treats or take the kids out and to, in the, to earn more money to increase the difference between what you earn and what you spend so that the difference can be saved up and then put into buying income producing assets. And the income producing assets can include um, buying a bigger place to live in. So you can do Airbnb, buying a place, which is what my client did. He um, he bought he sold up in um, suburbia and he went to live in a wonderful part of the country where he could afford for the same money to get a big house, a holiday cottage and a field. 
all of which could make him money in the in the future going forward. So that's the idea is to um, invest in income producing assets or even more important at the moment, invest in some commodities. What do I mean by that? These are the things that are about to go into the next big super cycle and actually could make you uh, life changing sums of money that you could then invest into assets like a place to live and somewhere that's going to make you an income in the future going forward. And, you know, if we're going into a recession, don't imagine that everybody gets poorer. Not everybody does. A lot of people get richer or they get better off at the very least. So it's a good idea to start figuring out which of the five methods of making money online you're going to apply yourself to over the next few weeks and months. And if you've got any ideas from any of this, I'd love to hear about them down below. Or if you've got any questions about your idea, then do come along and comment here or come along to nicolakenx.com and you can book in to talk to me for 15 minutes in my diary from that website. And I'll give you every encouragement. I'll point you in the right direction. And even if we don't end up working together on a mentoring or consultancy basis, I'll make sure you're pointed in the right direction to achieve your goals as quickly as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to your comments and I might leave the bit where the chair drops down. <laughs> you never know. Um, and I'll see you very soon. Mm -hmm.